Me and Darin met at uh, Eka, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, we also shared the studio for a month or so, mm -hmm. summer, yeah. And after that, we, we've been rather close, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's been really fun to think about us working together because our works are very different. Um, so when I graduated from ECHA, uh, we thought it would be fun to continue with an exhibition together. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and a chance to see how our works mm -hmm. work together or don't, and what kind of conversation they have, because conceptually we're in the same ideas and the same frames of things, but the way that we approach the topics are vastly different in terms of material and presentation style and kind of overall aesthetics. So it's always fun to see how you can make those things fit together and where each has to compromise a little bit so that both can shine just as strong. Which So it's been really fun to, for me to work a bit more extravagantly and uh, with a lot more presentation. I'm typically more minimal and black and very dark, whereas Pilvi is very decadent and luxurious and more is more is more, but it really feeds what she's doing and you see it in the works. So she's had to come back a little bit and I've had to really go out of our comfort zones. So it's been, yeah. it's been really fun mm -hmm. to do. It was scary at first because we're yeah. so different and I had to tone down a lot. My, my last in installation was uh, piles and piles of things <laughs> upon things. So here it's... Uh, yeah, it and mine was almost no installation, just black work. So yeah, working in polished metal and mm -hmm. very shiny and yeah, it's been, uh, yeah, it's been great. Yeah, I think, I think one of the things that, com that I see in both of our works, it's the textures. So even though I'm working in metal and just metal, there's these nice subtleties in the surfaces that I see echoed in Pilvi's beading work and her uh, kind of the ribbon and all the, the little extras that you find in her piece. So when you look at both of our works, you have to really look because you miss all of the details in hers if you don't really spend some time. And in these pieces for me, I don't normally do textures but again, because the forms are so simple, adding the textures, it creates the same kind of conversation with mine as well. So everything becomes this kind of micro, which I'm not used to in mine because they're usually very flat and black and big. And so you get it in the first, so making work that you have to really dive into, I think is something that Pilvi's brought out in my work for this, for this collection, for sure. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the sand casting texture and my beadwork, mm -hmm. I, I never do anything level, it's <laughs> too boring for me. <laughs> so the bead is like tiny specks of sand yeah. that I've been putting around some of my necklaces, kind of reflects the same idea. And there's like these holes and cavities and where you can dive into in both of our pieces. Yeah, and that I've made rings with something new. I've never made rings before. So yeah, it's this, there's this kind of void in both our works, even though hers are more small and then mine are larger. So yeah, I think it's, it's brought out different aspects, for me at least, in how I make work and what I, how I think about it by having to make works together. And because we made these are specific for this show, they're completely brand new and in working together, we, which isn't how we normally work either. You know, we both work very individually in our studios, <laughs> very narrow. So having to partner with someone and make sure that they have a conversation and it isn't two separate things is always a challenge, but it's a good challenge. Yeah, it's, it's definitely leaving the comfort zone. Yeah. Um, I'm, I was really scared to show where in my, my works, it's like, um, I'm going to go very colorful. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be lots of everything. Yeah, but <laughs> it works. Work. Yeah. Yeah. 